excellent. And excellent is a great way to describe Freddie Peralta. Ten strikeouts, seven solid innings as the Milwaukee Brewers beat the Atlanta Braves last night by the final of one to nothing. And fastball Freddie Peralta joins us now here on MLB Central. Freddie, we appreciate the time. Over your last five starts, you're three and zero with a 1.57 ERA. What's been working well for you? I think that the conference in the fast working and the great job that we've been putting together uh, on the field. Um, Hooky, my pitching coach, there's some people that have been helping me a lot. Just trying to get back and feel comfortable again. Freddie, I watched that game start to finish last night, and I think even though you punched eight, eight of your ten guys out on the heater. Maybe the nickname Fastball Freddie Peralta has got to change a little bit because as you've gotten older, man, you're starting to incorporate this nasty slider. You're starting to do some different things that make your heater pop a little bit more. Take me take me behind that. Yeah, there's some people that told me that, like, been telling me that, like, uh, you got to change. There's, there's no Fastball Freddie anymore. But I said, no, I still. <laughs> and like you say, man, uh, this game is about adjustments and – we always uh, need to learn something new and put it together and bring it to the mound. Hey, we were talking before before we came on the air. There's a lot of deception in your game. I don't think people realize in your windup that kind of that crossfire and the extension you get on your heater and your drive towards the plate. And you told us there were some people throughout the course of your career that maybe thought you needed to streamline your mechanics. Yeah, so I think that my mechanic is, is is a big point for me. It's, yeah. it's something that I need to be working every day for me to show that everything is connected. And, you know, uh, I'm built like that. Like, uh, my lower body means a lot for me. Uh, depending on how, how my lower body is, tell me a lot how the game's going to be that night. Really? And, yeah, like you said, there's some people that – in the past, uh, complain about it, like that I need to change a little bit of that, but it's working, still working. Freddie, we saw a, another example of just how devastating your rotation is, oh, but bullpen. also the bullpen. Good. I, I nice. mean, Devin Williams comes out, he throws 97, and that changeup is filthy. And then Josh Hader, as we said earlier, you know what's coming. It's 98, it's 99, and it's if you can catch up to it, great. But, I mean, what's it like sometimes to watch on days that you're not pitching or when you're in the dugout and seeing your bullpen do what they can normally do? Hey, man, I'm that kind of player that enjoy the game, every game, like in the dugout watching my team is playing. And, and it's awesome when, I, when we see those guys coming from the bullpen, uh, especially Devin and, 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 and Hayter. It's unbelievable. You can see the, the, the word that they've been pulling the last uh, couple of years and especially to, uh, last night uh, a lot of strikeouts and right. it's awesome to, to be part of this group like this and part of the rotation and uh, and as a team that always go out there to compete and try to win games every day so it's, it's something that I love. Alright perfect night for you in Miller Park last night it looks like a beautiful day in Milwaukee behind you what, oh, what, yeah, what, yeah. What, what's Freddie Peralta doing today? Take take me start to finish, but upon waking up till you get to the yard, what are you gonna what are you gonna get it get into? Uh, no, I just uh, I just had a coffee and I'm ready to go to do something with the fans. Uh, oh really? In like 30 minutes, yeah. I'm going to a supermarket just to pack some. Uh, Teams from the grocery for the fans oh, nice. here in Milwaukee. And it's awesome, man. And this thing, I enjoy everything because we always trying to help the people. Uh, we have a, a good staff of people here that take care of the, the Brewers com community. And I enjoy that. I'm ready to go and and have some good time with the people. What do you get? What do you get into at the field today? Is it a spa day for you? Is it rest and relax? Or is it flush? What do we get? Uh, I have a, a big massage today. Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> first sleep maybe, put in the massage, and I don't know. Just enjoy the game, eat something good before the game, play around a little bit, listen some music in the clubhouse, and you know, ready for for another win. 
Uh, Freddie, earlier in the program, uh, Mark DeRosa profiled your performance, but he also had, I don't know if you can see, he mocked up your manager, Craig Council, and he, he, <laughs> he fancied not. that with all that pitching, wow. that he's got like, what did you call it? Uh, city, city Council. City Council watering hole. I mean, we've got the... We've got the uh, the fastball Freddy uh, Ale. Yes, the light said Fred. You ever heard the song uh, I'm Too Sexy by Right Said Fred? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah, you have. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I think you guys have a really good community. You talked about the community there in, in Milwaukee amongst yep. the fans. Your teammates and that clubhouse looks like you have a great sense of community. You guys have the, the bell we, with the happy hour. Yes. Uh, what, what's that like yep. when the guys are ringing the bell after they hit a homer in the dugout? Hey, 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 hey. Sometimes I get mad because sometimes there's some players uh, that they are like more like, ah, they want to do it, but they don't want to do it. And I say, hey, you got to do it. No, I do it. I got to do it. I'm going to do it for you because we got to enjoy the game. And uh, we got to respect the team, the, the other team, but we got to enjoy the game too. Uh, it's how it is because they enjoy when I, when I'm on the mound and, and somebody hit me hard, and they enjoy it. So we got to enjoy when, when, when we do it. That so that's how it is. That nah, yep. I love it. All right. I got to ask my signature question. You had your coffee. What'd you get into for breakfast? Uh, I haven't had breakfast yet, but I'm thinking about some mango before I go there. I don't know if you guys know yeah. mango, but yeah, I, I, I'm ready I know. for it. My, you can describe my mom is it, here, so. Yeah, what, yeah, is, what is it for those that, that aren't familiar? What is it? Uh, it's a... Uh, Green plantain, like you know, like a mashed potato, yeah. like that. You gotta do the same thing, but with the plantain, and you put so, some butter on, uh, and then some fried cheese, fry egg, and you can add salami if you want to. Ooh, salami. Ooh, wow. Your, yeah. mom, your mom's in town. Yeah. So you're gonna put got on, here, like, gonna put on about five pounds. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Hey, uh, real quick before we let you go, Freddie. Uh, we notice on your shirt there, you've got the goat the uh, on, on your T-shirt, SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, that yep. is a uh, – Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, was wearing a SpongeBob SquarePants pin oh. when he was yes. inducted into Cooperstown. I mean, that has oh. to be a good omen for you. I mean, Larry Walker, one of the all-time greats. <laughs> he has it all. Look, yeah, I mean – Look at that. Yeah. May maybe you'll end up in Cooperstown one day. Wow, one day, I hope. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Freddie. Uh, we, yeah, we, we're in the summer, so we, we got to enjoy a little bit. <laughs> absolutely. Hey, well, thank you very much for the time. My compliments on your phone. The signal you're he's got, putting he's out. He's got it, the portrait mode on. The hair great. is on lock. It, I it, see what he's doing. You look fantastic. There, thank you very much for, for joining us here, and best of luck to you the rest of the yes. way. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. You got it.